Hi, I'm Jennifer Rumpty here with Santa's Helpers, and with me I have Laura Brady and Tammy Dowell. Tell us all about Santa's Helpers. Uh, Santa's Helpers has been in Steuben County for 27 years, and it's an organization that purchases gifts for children that are needy, and um, so they can go back to school after Christmas, and when the question is asked, what did you get this year for Chris Christmas, they, uh, they can uh, respond with toys and clothes and, and gifts. What kind of families do you help? Uh, we actually have an application and we interview people and we help those that are in need, uh, whether they've been laid off or lost their job or just financially need help. How do they help? Uh, we then in return after the applications are accepted, we uh, shop for the children or we have uh, organizations in Steuben County, uh, companies, businesses, individuals, uh, they all come to us and, and would like to adopt a family and then they go out and actually personally shop for those children and uh, the ones that aren't adopted out then we Santa's helpers our committee will go out and shop individually for each of the children well we have a tree at Walmart they have gift tags on them they can take that gift tag and shop for that child there's a specific item on that gift tag and then return it back at the courtesy desk and then also they can send monetary donations to uh, our PL box which is 241 Angola and attention Santa's helpers while you're out shopping for that special gift this holiday season, think of Santa's helpers. Help Santa's helpers help make a difference for a child in Steuben County this Christmas. Your last line of defense are your window treatments. Basically, you want to keep the cold air out and keep the warm air in. You can do this several different ways depending on your personal preference, your style, your decor, that type of thing. What you want to look for in a window treatment, whether it be a duet, a wood product, or a regular standard treatment, you'll want to know your needs. Write them down if you need to. You want to know how much sun protection you need, how much winterization you need, basically your goals for your window treatment. They have different opaque levels from sheer to completely opaque. So you'll want to assess your needs and select something that works for you. You'll also notice that they have different pleat styles. They have the larger pleats, the medium pleats, and small pleats. This is simplifying it, but basically that's what it is. They also have single, double, and triple. What you're looking for is the air. The air that's trapped in between the pleats, that's what will insulate your window treatments and make them very energy efficient. You'll notice they're not just beige anymore. They come in a nice variety of different colors. And they have different sheens, different textures, that type of thing to go with your decor. They have a lot of different colors, so you can select something that really works with your environment. Wood window treatments are a classic choice. You can have them so they look a little more rustic. They're wonderful for a lake or forest environment, so that really brings the outdoors in, but not necessarily so. They've come a long way in the last few years. There's real wood vertical treatments. Those are really nice. They also come in horizontal you can get the same valance, which is the board across the top to make them look finished and to have a cohesive look. Also, in a, the last few years, they've come up with an, what's called a faux wood. Wonderful if you have a lot of sun coming in. The nice thing is, is they do not warp. They can't be sun damaged, that kind of thing. They're warranted against this. But the best thing is, um, they have different colors and it matches a lot of the natural wood species and they have different valances. There's also a new treatment the last couple of years and it's almost a cross between your standard wood valance or faux and a shutter because it has a nicer, updated, more elegant profile. So whatever your needs are, it can be accomplished with wood as well if that's your aesthetic. This duet motorized option is really nice behind a garden tub, that type of thing. Or if you have a lot of windows, you can just put it on a motor. Now, during the night, you'll of course want to lower them. During the day, you'll want to 
raise them back up so you can get the warmth and the heat of the sun. The nice thing about it is you can raise it, it's called top down, bottom up. So what you want to do is, you know, during the day when the sun's coming in, or if you need some privacy, you can um, do top down so you can still get some of that sunshine without the glare. And then at night, you can put it right back up and get full privacy and full heat control. With wood window treatments, all you have to do is adjust for sun control. And then to raise and lower them, it can be as simple as pulling a string. They've also come a long way with vinyl. Now you can do all sorts of things with your vinyl treatment. It can be full sun control, light sun control, and up and down as you see fit. So you really are in control with the different window treatments that are out today. With fabric window treatments, of course, you have the style of the treatment itself and all the fabric options. What you're looking for here to save on your utility bills is you want to have lining and interlining. Of course, make sure that whatever window treatment you decide on, that you have them professionally measured and installed. This will ensure quality treatment year after year that you're completely happy with. I'm Jennifer Rumsey, and I hope you'll join me next time on Your Home, Your Haven.